Good morning, I'm Joseph Colgan, Broker Associate with Colwell Banker. This morning, I've got a question for you. When you learn that a property has first come on the market, what do you consider first? You go check out the school district? Do you get to the kitchen and find out if it's adequate for what you want, the way you live? Do you go to the backyard, make sure it's private enough or green enough? To walk the floor plan and check out the bedrooms, make sure they're suitable for your needs. When I first learned that a property has come on the market, I go to the sweet spot. The sweet spot is the location in the home that's going to tell me how well the house is aging. Let's compare shopping for a home with shopping for a used car. If you need a used car in a given weekend, you're probably going to look at between six and half a dozen vehicles, and they're going to range in age probably somewhere between three years old to 10 years old. Well, by lunchtime, you're going to have figured out that the condition of these vehicles can vary quite a bit depending upon the maintenance the previous owner did. When you and I are out there looking at homes together, the age range mostly will be between 10 years old and 60 years old. And once again, key issue that property will be how well the previous owner do the maintenance. Now there are three issues which can damage a property. Moisture, sunlight, and termites. Moisture is extremely important for our Silicon Valley area because an overwhelming majority of the properties are built in a soil which is very rich in clay compound. This means that when it rains and we get most of our rain in four months, the soil is gonna get very heavy and expand. In the following eight months, soil is going to dry, crack, and contract. Given over five, 25, 75 years, all this back and forth, back and forth, can put an awful lot of stress on a home's foundation. Second issue with maintenance is sunlight, or too much of it. Sunlight can damage or warp or crack wood in a home, especially the wood in the roof eaves. And finally, termites. Termites are too small to see with the naked eye. However, give them seven years without um, extermination, they can reproduce enough to damage your foundation and your wood floorings. Picture a pro house as you approach it from the street. Generally, most of them are quite rectangular with the garage either off on one end or off on the other end. When I approach the home for the first time where it's just been on the market, I head to the spot which is going to show me uh, if there's any deferred maintenance from our three main issues water sunlight, termites. What I do is I head to the backyard, I go to the wall in the rooms behind the garage, because remember, or come, remember that the weight of the garage floor is a lot lighter on the soil than the home's foundation. So I'm gonna head toward the rooms, the exterior of the rooms, behind where the garage is, and I'm gonna look down and I'm gonna check and see if there was any cracking or shifting or any issue that concerns me. And I'm gonna look straight up and I'm gonna see if the roof eaves have split or cracked or if there's any termite damage to them. After this corner, I'll walk the entire exterior of the home, still looking at the maintenance, then go inside and crisscross the property. Not enjoying it yet, still looking for deferred maintenance. After that, I'll go in the kitchen, I'll check out how's the grass gas grill, 
What's the bedroom arrangement like? Is the master bathroom really spacious? Is the backyard good and private? Does it look like the kind of home that will delight you? Remember, regardless of what we do or do not see, we're visiting a property. Always completely read the property inspection report, the structural pest control report, and all disclosures provided. If we follow these steps, we will find, oh, and remember, the answer to every question is always ask the right expert. If you've got a question about the school district, call or go visit the school district. If you've got a question about your loan, call your lender or speak to another one and find out all the programs that could be available for you. If you've got it, uh, questions about the roof, talk to the vendor who inspected the roof or hire your own and have the roof inspected and ask them about it. If we follow these steps, we will find the home that's going to give you the most enjo enjoyment and financial security for years to come. If you're ready to start shopping for a home, call me, Joseph Colgan at 408-898-01. It's six. Thank you. I look forward to working with you.